Uh, hi girls, welcome to another one of our uh, Google uh, Earth tutorials. On this one I'm just going to show you how to use photos that other users have already added to Google Earth to add them to your map. So for example, um, if you go down into the layers section over here on the sidebar and you type, uh, you click, uh, check the uh, photos, what you see now is all these little icons um, that are popping up that are photos that other users have taken and add, uploaded into Google Earth. Um, so that's for example shows the uh, what's called the gas stripping tower in West End. Um, so I just want to show you how to how to use one of those. So I just um, have just click here on this one here. There's a photo on here that I want to use. So this uh, person has added a whole heap of photos um, to um, Google Earth, and I'm going to use one of those photos. In fact, I'm going to use that one there because it's a photo of Hong Lan, which is a good Asian grocer. So basically, I go to the photo I want to use, I click on it, and that will open up Panoramio in your Google Earth window, because Panoramio um, is owned by Google. Um, and that's the photo I want to use. So the easiest way for me to get, what I actually need to get is the URL um, to link to that photo. So the easiest way to do that is just to, once you're in Panoramio, it's just to click I uh, right click the photo and go open image and it opens the image in a separate browser window and this up here in the address box is the URL so I'm going to copy that close that up now I'll just go back to Google Earth I need to return to actual Google Earth away from Panoramio so that will be clicking up here um, to go back to Google Earth, it just zooms me back to Google Earth. Just going to click all those photos off now, that's going to get in the way. I'm going to add my place mark for um, Hong Lam, which is right there. And I've changed the image, as you can see, I've changed it over to the shopping basket to indicate that it's a, uh, a shopping site. Okay, and then I'm going to just write up here Hong Lan. Whoops. Hong Lan. And I'm going to put um, fantastic Asian grocer, one of many in West End. Okay, some information. And I'm going to add the, after that, I'm going to add the image, the URL that I just copied and pasted. So I just use Control V to paste that image, that, that URL that I copied previously a minute ago. I'm just going to go OK, which adds that there. And the other thing I'm going to do um, between that is I'm going to actually acknowledge that photo. So that photo um, is by Maxim Kozlenko. I just I made a note of that when I actually looked at the photo before. And we're just going to go OK to that now. That's all the information I need to put. And now when we um, click on it, it says Fantastic Asian Grocer, one of many West End photo by Maxim Kozlenko. There's a space error there, so I'll just go back and fix that up in a minute. But that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, so that's a really good way to actually get photos. We don't expect you to drive to, you know, um, Bilimba or Yoronga or, or um, Barden to get photos because lots of other users have added photos but you can use those photos quite easily and stick them in your map. One of the things you need to be aware that when you do this is it's added those photos, so added that place mark and those photos have been added up in here to what's called My Places whereas actually all your other stuff is down here so if you just save that file now it won't save the information about Hong Lan because it's actually not down here in the file uh, with all the other layers and uh, information you've got. So all you need to do is just grab it and drag it and just drop it into temporary places. So you just drag and drop those around. Those things can be moved and the order of those things can be changed around. You just can drag and drop those. So if you ever get anything, if you ever, ever add anything and you accidentally add it up into my places, you can just gra drag that down um, into, your own, uh, into your own file. So what I do now is I just click on that and all those things that are underneath there are going to save um, in that file. So that's how you add a Panoramio photo to one of your placemarks. So that when people click on the placemark, it adds the photo in.